These are the lands of Crazy Horse. Considered the greatest of all Lakota warriors, Crazy Horse roamed these lands in Wyoming, Montana, South Dakota, and Nebraska from 1840 until his death on September 5, 1877. Despite his great skills as a warrior and leader, Crazy Horse did not want to fight the white man. He did this only after being forced to do so, when the United States Army wanted to move him and his people onto a reservation. The United States was expanding, manifest destiny, they called it, and the government desired his homeland. Crazy Horse only fought to keep what belonged to him and his Lakota. In the end, with the buffalo nearly all killed off, taking away the Lakota's prime source of food, and Crazy Horse, without enough warriors to fight with, did what he had refused to do for so long, move his people onto a reservation. That's where he died, stabbed by a soldier's bayonet while resisting being put into an army guardhouse. Hi there, I'm Dave Wooten, author of the book Crazy Horse, Where My Dead Lie Buried. Join me on a very special tour of the lands of Crazy Horse. We're literally going to walk in the footsteps of the great Lakota war chief and leader. We're going to stand where he fought, where he lived, and where he died. We'll visit the Little Bighorn Battlefield, where Crazy Horse and the Lakota defeated George Armstrong Custer in one of the most famous battles of all time. We'll walk the Bozeman Trail and the Fetterman Battlefield, where Crazy Horse, as a young warrior, helped defeat an entire company of U.S. soldiers near Fort Phil Kearney in Wyoming. If not for the Battle of the Little Bighorn, this is the battle that most historians and authors would be talking and writing about today. Our tour will also take you to the Crazy Horse Memorial in South Dakota, where the likeness of the Lakota War Chief is being carved out of granite right into the mountainside. And our tour will end on the actual spot at Fort Robinson, Nebraska, where Crazy Horse was stabbed and ultimately died. If you're interested in Crazy Horse or Indian Wars history, this tour will be a moving, once-in-a-lifetime experience that you will never forget.